Hi all, this is our last week together, week eight, um, review of chapter seven, the chapter on mindfulness. And I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed this chapter. I think mindfulness has um, been brought to the forefront of my life and with much appreciation and, and many um, benefits that it's brought to my life. Um, I love the quote that speaks to, if our attention is scattered, stress is not far behind. And I would agree. In this age that, you know, they use the word sensory bombardment or mental burnout, mindfulness is a super useful tool that um, actually can create new neurons for us, which increases our brain function. And I think who wouldn't want more or better brain function? I also think mindfulness opens the door for us to enjoy our life more and be in the present moment. Um, I've spent a lot of time in my uh, brain, in my mind, with my thoughts, and it's robbed me of a lot of the joy that can be found in everyday moments. I'm so thankful that um, I have the tools now um, to be in the moment and to appreciate it and the stress relief that that brings to me. Um, so it is possible to change your thinking. I think what a blessing it is, and now the science in our book to back it up. Um, the benefits of mindfulness are huge. On page, you know, 108, I mean, look at that. You know, better immune system, um, you know, better general well-being. I mean, who doesn't want, you know, some of that? Um, there's many ways and resources that you can practice being mindful. I'll honestly say to you one of the, um, well, the two best things that I've learned personally is just a deep breathing that calm, that sort of warmth that rushes over you when you just deep breathe, when you don't hold your breath. It's big, you can do it anywhere. And then the other thing I found helpful was um, just kind of grounding myself in the moment, whether that is you know, noticing the breeze that's on, you know, blowing against your hair or the sunlight, the way it's reflecting off of different things or even the coolness or the warmth of the temperature um, you know, that your feet are placed on or your hands are touching really grounds you in that moment. And I've noticed such beauty um, in that everything looks brighter. Everything looks better, I guess, when you stop and notice it. I also really like that they went to talking about non-judgment and um, keeping our ego um, in check. And I think that's been huge for me. I'm not perfect by any means, but I've learned um, the non-judgment thing is not judging not only yourself for your thoughts, but um, even others, you know, learning that your people aren't, um, you know, all good or all bad. There's some of both. And same thing with situations. Um, you know, I think that's been a really helpful thing in my life as far as calming the stress response. So um, I truly hope that your vision um, is coming true and you can see yourself taking the steps to make that a reality. Um, I thank you for embarking on um, this adventure of this book club with me and with your peers. And I hope you have found a better night's sleep. I look forward to someday meeting you in person or connecting with you further. Um, please also join our Facebook page. We'd love to see you and all the contact information will be made available to you through your um, book club as well. So um, take care everyone and enjoy your good night's sleep.